okay. So, piano, voice, is it all working?
Biz... How is this now?
going on?
Right. So, uh, it's Sunday night, and you know what that means. Uh, I guess it means uh, that uh, I'm going to play some music, um, because really, uh, my fans demanded it. And by that, I mean the three or four people in the chat room right now. Uh, plus, probably my mom, who doesn't know what the chat room is. Uh, so, uh, so no question. This is going to be, uh, this is going to be something. Uh, I haven't played, um, in any sort of performance and this is about as weird a performance as I've, as I've, uh, mustered in a while. Um, not as weird as the time I played for an event for Rudy Giuliani, but close in a way, uh, cause there's no one here. It's only just the, the people I see virtually in the, in the chat, and uh, there you go. So, uh, we're going to start uh, tonight with uh, an old standard, um, and what better way to start tonight uh, than a song called uh, Nobody Else But Me.
Uh, something like that. So that was uh, nobody else but me, indeed. Uh, because if it wasn't, uh, that would be weird. Uh, well, <clears throat> that was an old song, uh, and this is another old song. Um, a very uh, commonly played song by us jazz folks, and uh, um, it's called All the Things You Are.
Everything I just said was muted. Everything I just said was muted because I'm an idiot. I just put the whole thing on mute so you didn't have to hear my stupid singing while I was playing. And there you go. You missed everything I just said. So let me say again that I'm very excited to see a lot of blasts from the past, including um, Dave Benson, a former roommate. Uh, I am seeing um, I am seeing uh, Jason Choi. That's that's amazing to see uh, you. That's great. Um, um, and I uh, also see, of course. Uh, uh, bookseller, um, celebrity, and one of uh, the f uh, finer guitarists that I know, Neil Hendry, good old, uh, my, my old pal there, of course. He's got a new record out there. You should be looking for it on Bandcamp, Cairo the Cat. Um, uh, Aaron Foreman there, of course, uh, uh, an old friend there, the uh, a folkloric string pedagogue, I guess, from the, from the prairies. Uh, love to see, uh, love to see that. Um, there is, um, uh, there all, all sorts of people. There's legal essayist. Sean is, is there. Uh, it's, uh, you know, nice, nice to see. Um, so there we go. Um, and I'll shout out more of you as, as, the, as time goes on. Um, and, uh, now I'm, I'm glad you're getting my pattern now, Alan. So that's great. Um, let's, uh, let's go on with something else. Uh, this is a blues of sorts. Um, it's by my favorite uh, saxophonist, probably Joe Henderson. Uh, I like playing it and uh, hopefully it works. This is uh, Isotope.
All right. Well, there we go. That's my idea of a blues. Uh, so that's uh, that's again Isotope by uh, by Joe Henderson. So I um, uh, hope you're enjoying this so far. Uh, if you feel like it, um, you're more than welcome to uh, um, provide a uh, a tip of sorts if you feel like it to um, Jazz's uh, Nito at yahoo.ca and yes that is a real email address uh, Jazz is Nito at yahoo.ca uh, if you want to do an e-transfer or if you'd like you can um, do paypal.me backslash uh, Ian, Ian Sinclair dot Jazz I believe um, and they're both in the Facebook event page if I'd been smart, I would have put them on, on this broadcast, but, you know, I didn't. So, that's all right. Um, so, uh, next. Um, before I do that, actually, let's see here. Uh, who else is, who else is definitely here? Um, well, oh, we got, uh, we got, uh, we got Stu, of course. Speaking of rock stars, we got Stu here. Um, truly uh, one of the great camp counselors, not to mention uh, a fine guitarist. And who else, who else is joining us? Of course, um, uh, West Coast social justice warrior Lyndon Sayers is there. I'm, it's uh, always flattering to see uh, him. Of course, he wears that title proudly. Um, Great to see him. And uh, I know there's many others there I'm not uh, mentioning here, and, and as well as those of you who are not necessarily joining in on the, on, on the chat, it's good to, uh, um, good to get to hopefully see you all there. Let's, uh, let's move on, let's do something else. Uh, here is uh, another old song. Uh, this is called, uh, I, th I Thought About You.
All right. So uh, that was I thought about you. Um, all right. So uh, uh, let's see. Lots of folks still there. It's good to see. Um, so uh, I'm going to now play um, a an original. Um, no, wait. Don't. Don't, please don't shut it down yet, okay? It's not, it's an original, but we're gonna, you know, it's not like some long suite or something. Uh, trust me, it won't, it won't, uh, it's, it, you know, it's, it, look, it, it's worth it. Uh, this one, this one was funded by the, the Toronto Arts Council, so you know it actually has to be a worthwhile composition. Uh, um, I mean, the city of Toronto, really, what have they done what have they managed to get wrong ever? Uh, so, um, in any case, this tune is uh, called Red Cardinals and Blue Evenings.
All right, so uh, that last last tune was mine, Red Cardinal, Red Cardinals and Blue Evenings. Uh, so um, this next tune um, is uh, my arrangement of um, uh, uh, an old another old song by Harold Arlen uh, called Ill Wind. Um, those of you who tried to watch my concert last week, I apologize, but uh, in fact, an ill wind was probably responsible for messing up that uh, fateful uh, night with the uh, internet connection. So why not bring back uh, the, a tribute to that, Ill, that event with ill wind here? Um, now, I've, I came up with this arrangement, um, I don't know, something like... Uh, um, 15 years ago originally and I've been sort of honing it ever since so um, oh dang it is my voice muted it's not saying that it is no it isn't okay so in any case um, this next song is uh, Ill Wind
Okay. All right. So, um, that was my version of the old song "Ill Wind," and uh, let's see, who who else is here? Oh, of course, we have um, uh, we have uh, Michael Bellissimo, another board member of the. Uh, the vaunted uh, Baroque Ensemble residents there. Um, of course, uh, who else do we have here? We have um, um, uh, Denise Lapointe. Very nice to see you. Um, of course, um, oh, lovely to see that, uh, uh, of course, uh, one of um, my favorite people in the world, Florentine, is also joining us here. That's great. Good to see. Uh, who else? Um, absolutely. If I'm missing you, I'm sorry. Oh, of course. It's good to see you, Zainab, as well. It's great. Um, okay, so this, um, uh, this next one I'm going to play is... Uh, when I carefully thought out in advance. Oh yes, I'm gonna I'm gonna play um, uh, a song uh, by a jazz composer and pianist um, from the sort of classic bebop era, uh, Tad Dameron, known for writing many of sort of the most memorable tunes of that era. Uh, this very commonly played. Uh, Ladybird.
All right. So that was uh, that was a tune uh, called uh, Lady Bird. Um, and um, so uh, thanks. Uh, thanks very much for uh, joining me um, here on this solo piano Sunday. Uh, I plan on um, doing some more of these at some point. Uh, hopefully, uh, uh, I think I'm going to do one in uh, two weeks from now. So uh, set your calendars. Um, uh, again, if you feel so inclined, you're more than welcome to send a uh, an e-transfer for a modest tip, if you like, to jazzesnito at yahoo.ca. Or um, you can PayPal me uh, at paypal.me backslash jazz. If you want, all of that information is at the Facebook event page. Why is it not here on the YouTube page? Because I didn't plan that carefully enough. All right. Um, so uh, I'm going to play one more tune. Uh, this one is by a uh, pianist and composer I admire uh, named Richie Byrack. Uh, uh, he is one of those... Uh, voices that isn't like a, a household name in as much as jazz musicians aren't household names anymore really anyway but even among jazz fans it's sort of an insider's thing uh, a lot of folks know um, that he's a big uh, among the jazz community he's a very big influence on a lot of pianists and composers um, and certain tunes of his um, have uh, sort of persisted um, and this one from uh, 1979 uh, is a personal favorite. Um, uh, the title tune of a classic album called um, Elm.
All right. So thanks very much, everybody. Um, glad you could join me. And um, so I'll be uh, be back again. I hope in uh, another two weeks. And uh, um, until then, uh, uh, take a look on Facebook. I should be announcing it and uh, finalizing it. But I expect that'll be the case. And uh, let people know about it. Um, so if you don't mind. Uh, thanks for joining me. And uh, see you again soon.